Well, there we are again. Come on, 15th of July now, wasn't it? Wednesday, yes. But there we are. Time's flying by quick. Fast. And here. Um, I hope you're all all right. Stay safe. That's all we can say, isn't it? And uh, see if we can get all get through this together. It'll be all right. Now, this year one today is called On Guard by Liz Arman. Behind every successful man, they say, there is a successful woman. Rini always claimed that she was responsible for making Jack a sergeant in the Home Guard during World War II. It happened like this. Newland Home Guard platoon had been issued with the equipment for sending and receiving Morse code messages. The problem was they didn't have an operator for it. Now, the commanding officer remembered that before the war, Jack used to teach the Newland Sea Scouts their signals, so invited him to join the Home Guard and be in charge of this equipment. Jack was delighted. A new toy to play with. Every Sunday, the CO, who was allowed a petrol ration for this purpose, collected Jack to go off on training manoeuvres. Rini started thinking, it's not too subtle way. She would ask who was present on these occasions, what rank they held, and so forth, and also if they deserved, said, the, the, said rank. One day, Rini was ready. She had planned her own manoeuvres. As a car drew up to collect Jack, she called out the seal, oh, excuse me. But could have a word with you a minute. Every polite the officer got out of the car to give her his attention. Now, I've been thinking. This year, Morse code. Can anyone else work it? No, he said. Jack, here is the only one we've got. So, said Rini, he's very important to the platoon. Oh, yes, said replied. We couldn't do without him. In that case, said my mother, why is he only a private? If he is that important, I think he should be a sergeant at least. Somewhat embarrassed, the poor man started blustering. You see, it's not that easy. There are all sorts of procedures. It isn't entirely up to me. Rini moved in for the kill. Seeing that she had the advantage, she struck home. Looking at him straight in the eye, she said, I don't know that I want Jack to carry on with this here own guard. There he is, dragged from his home and family every Sunday. I can find plenty for him to do. I reckon he should give it up. The officer, recognising that he had met a superior and unmovable force, gave him without a fight. All right, Rini, let him come today, and next week you can go into Laxon's sports shop and buy the stripes. The following Sunday, proudly wearing sergeant stripes, Jack went off on manures. No one, no one knew if his promotion was official, but it satisfied Rini, and she would constantly say, See what I did for you, Jack. Didn't I make you a sergeant in the home guard? This year one now is by David Prowse, The Way We Were. Sunday suits and hobnail boots, shillings, pounds and pence. Reapers, binders, window winders, washing on the fence. Cold stone floors and open doors, shirts that reach your knees. Horses straining, teachers caning, conkers from the trees. Corn in shocks, white ankle socks, lime wash pantry walls. Tinkers, ikers, sidecar bikers. Cathlank overall. Ration suites, third class seats, trains that ran on steam. Eleven pluses, country buses, Morris Minor Green. Trollers, trams and telegrams, propellant pencil sets. Saying graces, buttons, braces, park drive cigarettes. Truby hats, pink ribbon plaits, paraffin in lamps, cutthroat razors, navy blazers, saving foreign stamps. Airtex vests and TB tests, cigarette card swaps, trousers turn ups, push bike burn ups, bold clean easy mops, acne boils, cod liver oils, mother darning socks, assop fables, 12 times tables, girls in dirty nerdy frocks. We say our prayers for kings and heirs as old gave way to new, and bells were rung when we were young in 1952. Thank you very much.